Working breaking news tonight on a salmonella outbreak linked to salami products made here in Rhode Island. The Rhode Island Department of Health now believes it knows the source of the contamination that second 189 people nationwide. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Hogan is live in the Breaking News Center with the very latest. That's right. Well, the health department just announcing that ground black pepper used in some of its salami products tested positive for salmonella. Now, that is the exact same strain that is associated with this national outbreak. The Department of Health allowing Eyewitness News access into their lab where just hours ago, a breakthrough on the salmonella outbreak. This is so a perfect match. This is a perfect match, and this is the smoking gun that we're looking for when we're trying to find the source of a foodborne outbreak. DNA from two Rhode Islanders sickened by salmonella, this along with DNA samples from an open container of black pepper used in the salami, matched. Because this was an open container that the sample came from, right now it's considered a probable source of the outbreak. Health officials are now testing samples from closed boxes of pepper to be sure the salmonella contamination wasn't from human hands. At that point, um, we know that no, no human could have contaminated that, that nothing has touched it. It's a closed container. Danielle Incorporated out of Burraville purchased the black pepper from a New York distributor and has now changed its spice supplier. Now health officials are trying to determine where that distributor bought the contaminated black pepper. It's believed it could be from an overseas producer. Part of the investigation is working with the company to trace back the sources of that pepper. And if there are any other foods that we do have to add, we'll work with CDC and FDA to do that. Now, Danielle Incorporated sold the salami products to Costco stores and other retailers nationwide for a complete list of the recall products. Just head over to our website at WPRI.com. Live in the Breaking News Center, I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.